Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Cassiano. And I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Thanks for joining us this Monday evening. Well, after months of planning and a few weeks of online-only learning, Central New York's largest school district welcomed kids back into the classroom this morning. News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc shows us how the first day was different for everyone in the Syracuse City School District. Happy to be back. It's been months since the kids here at Dr. Weeks Elementary School have sat in a classroom. They're dealing with a few changes, like having to wear a mask and sitting with a plastic shield on their desk. It's kind of weird, but I'll get used to it. Students like Nathaniel Taylor are relieved to be back. It was a little hard. A little hard? How yeah. come? It was like, it's because it's like you're not in school and it's like you're home and you got like brothers, sisters, siblings yelling and everything running everywhere while others miss the perks of being home. It's where you get to get, stay home and actually eat snacks while listening. <laughs> All input Superintendent Jaime Alisea is eager to hear as he surveys the school, asking the kids how they're feeling about their first day, even coming across a child who says he's been working without a computer, which the district is providing to families. Alisea making sure that student will go home with the technology he needs. Safe has this computer going home today. I will. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Most of the district has opted for this plan, a hybrid model of learning where they come into the classroom two days a week, while 35% of the kids in the district are continuing to learn from home. It's a plan Alisea and his team have been working on all summer. There's no school without kids and to have the kids back today and to be able to talk to them about, you know, coming back to school, what they did during the summer. I'm excited to have the kids back in school. Doing what it takes to keep the kids in the classroom. Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. Uh, looks like the kids were excited to be back too. The district has invested more than a million dollars to put two air filters in each classroom in place by the end of the week. He says the district is in good shape right now when it comes to stocking up on PPE.